there are three areas that are very important that we establish agreement in intentionally if our partnership is going to serve its purpose. So here's number one. Number one, we've got to intentionally cultivate agreement on the place. What's this? Where are we going? <laughs> I remember after my wife gave me, well, she's my girlfriend then. Well, she wasn't my girlfriend, but she gave me a napkin with a number on it. I called and we started talking a little bit and we were talking a lot. And so I was in college in Jackson, Mississippi, and she was in college in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And so I remember one day we had been talking for, I don't know, I don't know, maybe on the phone, maybe a month. And she called me one night. It was a Thursday night. And she called me. She said, um, hey, I'm getting ready to go to this school, um, Alcorn State, for this sorority event in about an hour from here. And um, I just kind of want to know, where are we? I'm like, I'm at home. I'm in my apartment. I don't. She, <laughs> you know, she's like, no, no, no. We, we, we've been talking for about a month. And I'm getting ready to go to Alcorn. And it's going to be people there. And I just need to know, where are we? I'm like, I don't get it. She said, am I taken or not? She said, I need to know so that when I get there, I know whether or not to entertain other suitors. I said, you taken. <laughs> you taken right now. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, where are we going? And this is, this is this, I think, an important question. I think it's a quintessential question that we've got to constantly ask ourselves in the context of our marriage. Where are we going? And do both of us want to get there? Where, where are we going? And what does it look like when we arrive? Where are we going? And how can we define it and describe it so we can accurately articulate how close or how far we are? away from it. And so everyone has to define what place looks like for them. But there are three words that I think describe the place, describe the place of a marriage that is operating according to the creator's intent. I, I pull all three of these primarily from the creation narrative. Num number one, it's a, it's a fruitful place. Be fruitful, multiply. It's a fruitful place. What does that mean? It means as a result of our partnership, something is produced that could not be produced if we were operating independent of each other. That we, when, when we get together, we do more than make children. When we get together, we make a difference and things are birthed as a result of our partnership that could not be birthed if we were not together. It means that we leave the world better off than we found it. It means that we aren't the only ones glad that we got together, that heaven is glad that we got together, and the enemy is upset and agitated that we got together. Fruitful. I look at my life and I say, there's some things that I've given birth to that I could not have given birth to if it wasn't for who God connected me to. That the things about her, watch this, that agitated me in one season are things that are assets in this season. When we got together, I'm like, why does everything have to be so ying, 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 ying? And why, why does everything have to be so meticulous and orderly? And, so, and, you're, and why, why are you so analytical? And now, 20 years later, I'm like, I'm so glad. You are meticulous and ordered and structured. My life is benefited from that. Our home benefits from that. Our church benefits from that. Fruitful. Another description of a place, the place of a marriage that's operating according to God's original intent, a partnership that's carrying out his purpose, it's not just fruitful, it's flourishing. That there is an internal and emotional vibrancy and wellness. 
that exists in the soul of my spouse as a result of the value that's been added because of this relationship. It's not my spouse's job to heal me, but it is my my spouse's job to create the context where healing becomes easier. Flourishing, vibrancy, a context that cultivates the fruit of the spirit, much of which applies to a person's emotional disposition, joy, peace, flourishing. Another one is fulfilling. What does it mean? It means that the relational needs that can only be met in the context of marriage are being properly met so that if a person is unfulfilled, it's because they are greedy, not because they're needy. And so all of our places will look different, but when we get to that place and space, it should be fruitful, it should be flourishing, it should be fulfilling. But the place isn't the only space we should have agreement. We need to agree on the place, but we also need to agree on the path. Not just where we're going, but what are the agreed upon routes we will take to get there? These are actually about values. What's what's the agreed upon routes we will take? What strategies will we implement? What relational habits will we put into place that put us on the path to the place we want our relationships to end up? 